Well, NVIDIA stronger than expected quarterly results driving markets to record highs. But investors, of course, also keeping an eye on the Federal Reserve. Remember that? And when the central bank could start cutting rates. Federal Reserve Vice Chair Philip Jefferson warning of the danger of easing too much in response to improvements in inflation. Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker says the greater risk is for the Fed to cut rates too soon. Joining us now, Stephanie Lang, Hamrick Berg, Chief Investment Officer. Hey, Stephanie. So we were sort of having this debate. Maybe you can help us out here today. What is more important for the markets right now? Is it NVIDIA or is it the Fed? Well, I think today, you know, clearly NVIDIA is the, the gift that keeps on giving. And I think if you look at what's driving, you know, the broader market, it's the earnings growth that we're seeing not only from NVIDIA, but the broader market. And I think going forward, that's going to be what's going to be driving stock prices going forward. So that AI halo is really taking effect. And I think that's going to drive not only earnings, but stock prices going forward. And Stephanie, as you know, I mean, stocks do follow earnings. What do you expect for profit growth in 2024, Stephanie? Well, we're expecting double digit growth. I mean, that's the consensus right now. We do think it's going to come down, um, you know, just because of the margin pressure going on. And I think it's quite optimistic. However, I think it's pretty encouraging because, you know, you've seen the growth of earnings. Today was NVIDIA. The, the MAG-7 has tremendous growth. And while 2023 was all about the multiple story, earnings growth is gonna be driving stock prices this year. So we're encouraged that we're gonna see, you know, going forward much better than we've seen in the past. 2023 was barely positive, And we think that's gonna be a big driver of stock prices going forward. Um, and then let's bring the central bank back into it as well, because obviously it's on the back burner today, but it's still going to be something that is important to consider. Um, why hasn't it been more of a stumbling block for stocks that we've pushed back those rate cut expectations? Well, I think it's because we've had such strong economic momentum. The story has been a recession, recession, recession that has never come. And here we are, we're, we're posting good economic numbers. The GDP for the first quarter is going to be close to 3% right now, according to Atlanta Fed Now estimate. And I think if the Fed is going to cut, which is the expectation, they're going to be cutting into a strong economic picture, which allows for um, a soft landing, most likely. And so I think the narrative has changed that um, you know, the soft landing is kind of the consensus trade. And I think you can take that risk out of it right now. And that's been, you know, what's been driving stock prices that the Fed is going to be supportive in a tailwind going forward. So, Stephanie, given that backdrop, how then do you want to be positioned in the equity market, Stephanie? What, what tractor, what, what sectors look attractive to you? Well, you know, I think it's important right now to stay diversified. Um, you know, it is exciting to see the the Magnificent Seven and all their earnings growth, but it's such a big part of the market. I think what is exciting is to look at some of these sectors that haven't really participated in the in the past, and maybe are seeing a turn in earnings, like healthcare. Um, it had a pretty poor earnings picture in 2023. It's going to have the highest earnings growth after tech and um, communication services. It's cheaper than the overall market. And it's had quite a bit of momentum this year. Um, it's, you know, up more than the market. So I would say, you know, lean into those areas that are unloved, but we'll be um, putting up some good earnings growth for 2024. You know, Stephanie, it's interesting. We've been, it's, it's an election year. We've been talking more and more about a presidential election. And one of the things that you said in your note is that you can expect some market support from Washington in this re-election year. What could that look like and what effect could that have? It's a great point. If you look back at the last 14 re-election years, so someone is in office and looking to get re-elected, guess what? They're going to do whatever they can to support the economy and the market. And what that has led to is in all 14 of those re-election years, you've had positive stock market results. Of course, we're well on our way this year, but uh, you can expect that if there is some economic weakness coming out later this year, you're going to see Washington step in and really support 
the overall economy. So we think that's a good tailwind. It's a good data point, And, you know, it helps our expectations for this year. Stephanie Lang, Hamrickberg, thank you so much. Appreciate it.